Hey Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This one may not resonate if it doesn't check out other placements. Okay, so you were waiting for someone here, okay? This is someone here who made you wait for a very long time, okay? So probably you were waiting for someone here to come towards you, give you an offer of some sort. You were waiting for some sort of clarity here. It feels like the clarity didn't come in and you chose to walk away from this person here. This could be someone here from your past who you probably wanted commitment with. But this person was very focused on themselves, focused on their money, focused on their uh, financial independence. Or someone who just was very, very scared to lose their independence. So you chose to walk away from them and you got the clarity that you needed. Somewhere, somehow, you just got the clarity and you just turned your back towards that situation or that person here. What's the current situation? What's the current situation for Aquarius? What's the current situation? What's the current situation? Yeah. All right. Uh, it looks like someone wants to come back towards you. Okay. This person here, whoever you're dealing with, this person's feeling very, very guilty. All right. This person out here is wanting to drop the load out here. This person is very obsessed with you, probably even very addicted here. But uh, what I like is that uh, the way this person is coming towards you, right? So they may not be telling this to you, but they're trying to have a very, very balanced approach to what's trying to want to reconcile with you. This person has a very open mind, okay? And they're trying to face the situation with a lot of patience, compassion, okay? And they're trying to balance the situation out with practicing a lot of moderation here. So yeah, this person is making you wait, but yeah, right now this person is feeling very guilty and they're wanting to come towards you. I think this person here realizes that, you know, they fucked up and um, it's like you give up on them, okay? You laid down the situation because the situation was becoming too much of a burden for you. You were the only one doing all this, you know, and you were constantly worrying about what they were thinking about you. You were very working very hard for this relationship, overburdened with other responsibilities also, okay? You were trying to make other people happy instead of yourself. You weren't being able to say no. Now what's happening right now is that you're throwing it all, okay? You're throwing it all in and you're giving up. And this person out here with the temperance here and the seven of swords in reverse here wants a reconciliation. Okay, this person's coming in. You could be dealing with somebody who had a lot of fear of responsibilities or who was just, you know, incapable to keep on top of things out here. That's also what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection for Aquarius? Wow. This person here clearly, clearly, clearly wants to offer you something committed, something solid, all right? But the problem here is that you are staying emotionally unavailable to this person here. You're in this mode of resentment, you know, you're pissed off with this person completely here. This person wants to offer you something uh, more committed, probably even engagement, marriage, etc. But you're closed off to this person out here. You don't want to make a decision in a haste. You don't want to make a hasty decision here. You're trying to stay very, very balanced out here. You know, it's like no matter what this person has to offer for you, there are chances that you're just not really interested uh, in the near future here because you're probably coming out from a place of resentment is what I'm getting here. Okay. You're not wanting to get involved with this person here because either this person seems not to be right for you or you just want to avoid any kind of drama out here. Okay. But um, this person's coming in here. But the problem here is that you're already detached here. You're no longer wanting to let this person affect your emotions or affect the way you think emotionally, okay? Because this person's hurt you and um, uh, you could be, you know, I mean, yeah, of course, the Queen of Cups is also someone uh, emotionally unavailable. But I also feel that I think that you're trying to be a little emotionally manipulative here. You're not wanting to express yourselves, you know, you're not wanting to express uh, your emotions openly. Okay, because you don't trust this person is what I'm getting here because you've given too much here. Right now, you're probably in a place where you're pretty self-centered, not in a bad way, but in a way where you want to make yourself a priority here. And you're pretty feeling very uh, disconnected from this person out here. And I think what's also happening here is that you're not being able to move on from the past disappointments that you had with this person out here. Okay. One more card. How do you see yourself in this connection, please?
Yeah. There was an ending here. You're leaving. You're ready to leave the building or you already have here. Because see, in the past year, you already realize your worth, your value, okay? Or someone at least realized this. I think because someone here was trying to, you know, you were waiting for this person here. This person didn't give you what you wanted. Finally, someone here realized your value in the past year with the nine of pentacles here. Or you realized your value out here, okay? Now what's happening here is that there's been a betrayal here, an ending here, okay? For you, probably this relationship is over. This person, like I said, made you wait, okay? This person makes you wait for a very, very long time here. And I think with the hangman in reverse here, you're releasing yourself from this situation here. Because you know what? Sometimes what happens is that, yes, there are people who make you wait. There are people who keep you stuck here. But it's up to you. Because you're the one probably who's not letting go of the control. And you're the one who's probably, you know, stuck in that situation. But you finally realize that you're holding yourself captive inside your own emotional cage. Okay. And I guess like what you are doing right now is you're ready to release yourself from the situation because you realize that you are not as stuck as you think you are. Okay. And this person's probably cheated on you, lied, or th there's just been a painful ending out here. You put in all the work all this while out here. This was a long-term investment is also what I'm getting here. It could have been a, like a long-term relationship out here. But clearly things didn't come into fruition here. Okay. Because it's going to take a lot of patience here. And I mean, uh, you're probably... Uh, reach that point where now you're deciding that the relationship is probably not worth the effort that you put in okay let's see how does this person see themselves in this connection how does this person see themselves in this connection how does this person see themselves in this connection how does this person see themselves in this connection please look at values God. yeah so now they want to manifest you huh seriously like after putting you hell putting you through hell now they want to manifest you now they want you back and now they want to talk wow they want to there's a lot of the communication coming in for you guys expect a lot of communication coming in for you guys okay now they want to talk they want to manifest because they realize that <clears throat> that um a lot of damage was done here. This person feels there's unfinished business. You may have just completely cut them off abruptly. You know, they didn't get time to get in terms with the end of the relationship out here. Now they want to think very logically, but they know what they want. That's what I like here. At least the king of swords is upright. They know what they want and they want to come in towards you with a lot of clear communication like this, this, this is what I want. Now realize the king of swords is not someone here who deal, who's the best with dealing with emotions. Okay, this person's more ahead of a heart here. Very methodical. Okay, but they're going to use a very calm and very controlled approach here. Okay, and uh, they're ready to take their responsibilities very, very seriously this time around. Okay, they're not only doing that with the magician here. I feel this person has got the confidence, no, no more doubting themselves that they can make it happen with you. Okay, but the problem here is in the near future, they come to you, they come back, they come back because they're very guilty out here. You know what? What's the 10 of wands in reverse here? What's the 10 of wands in reverse? Maybe they're done with other response. Come on. Give me one card for the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Mm. This person here, you broke their heart. They broke your heart. Whatever it is, right? But you finally let go of a relationship. That was just too much. And there was a breakup here. There could have been a third party situation between you both. There could have been ego. There could have been something external to both of y'all, okay, which was hampering your relationship here. Could be ego, could be fear of commitment, could be a thought pattern, could be someone wanting someone wanting to be single, could be someone wanting to keep you on hold for a very long time, you know, lack of communication. Anything that was coming between you both, right? You let this go. You let this go. You release the burdens because it was becoming more of a stress and a burden rather than giving you happiness here. So yeah, that's what you let go. You let go of a relationship that wasn't making you happy. The moment you did that, you patiently waited right now. And now this person wants to come back towards you. They're coming back in the future here wanting to offer you something stable here. But I don't think you're in any mood of wanting to um, reconcile with this person out here. I don't think you want to do that. Let's see what's the outcome. Wow. 
you're giving up you're giving up you're blocking their ass out there's communication coming in but you don't even give a shit you don't even give a shit it's going to be a new way they're going to think of a new way to approach you in the near future when you don't uh, when you reject them they're going to keep coming back okay because in the near future they are thinking of stability there is an offer here where they want to make things stable and secure between you and they're going to land up communicating with you that's for sure you're looking towards the future because you're in no mood to tolerate any kind of bullshit is what i'm getting here you know you've made up your mind and you're refusing to put in any time any effort into anything or anyone that does not reach your standards I feel you're no longer willing to tolerate bullshit, you know, broken promises, lies, or whatever disrespectful behavior. You're just going to be very candid, and I think you're going to focus less on love and more on creating a life of, you know, significance. Is what I'm getting here, because you've gone through hard knocks, you know, and um, I think you're just going to there's this repressed pain, okay, repressed whatever sadness out here, and you're just letting go of whatever you need to. which is this person here and focusing on your growth and forward momentum here and you're just done with it you're throwing in the towel that's what's happening here the communications coming in but they're throwing in the towel you're not even emotionally attached to them anymore i think it's pretty much an over and done case from your side okay